darlings, this is Sandra Bear Davis, the Appalachian Medicine Woman. How are you doing today? So good to see you. It's been a long time since I spoke with you. I've been in transition, moving down to Western North Carolina. Woohoo! Finally able to do it. It's been in it's been in plans for months and months and months, but I finally did it. Yay! <laughs> so I'm here. Yay! Hey, we're getting ready to have a snowstorm here. When is spring going to let go? Come on in and winter going to let go? Father Winter going back. It's time for uh, the, the maiden spring to come out. Let everything come on back to life. <laughs> so, but I'm happy to be home. Happy to have you here with me today. I wanted to give you guys some updates on kind of like what's going on as I kind of get back into work instead of like flitting here and there in my transition and in my move. If you'll notice, I've cut off my hair since probably the last time I did a video. That was uh, as a sacrifice to my path of service as a Cherokee medicine woman. I'm not going to be dyeing my hair anymore. Yeah, I've committed to going into a really natural way of living, step by step, but I'm doing it. And so, cutting off my hair so that I won't be dyeing it anymore. Although, I am, you know, going to do one more cut, kind of short like Ellen DeGeneres, so that I get all the dyed hair out of my head, and then just let my hair come back natural. Mm -hmm. I'm embracing the beauty of the aging process. Yeah. I'm also going to be working really hard to get my body back into shape, to be eating very, very healthy, to be a good example. You know, as, as uh, one who does healing work, I, I want to be a, a good example to people. I'm a bear. I'm going to be a big woman likely all my life. But, you know, I can be in good physical condition and, you know, better. Uh, where I live is on a mountainside, so just walking down to the mailbox is about a quarter of a mile and straight up on the way back. So, already, you know, my legs, I feel getting stronger and myself getting stronger. Yeah. So, I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot in the area other than my shamanic folk art, my spirit art. I've got this beautiful little cabin in Mars Hill, just about a couple miles outside of the Buncombe County uh, limits. So I'm not far out of Asheville at all. It's easy access, you know, off of 26. Um, most of my time is spent doing um, original shamanic folk art paintings, as well as I've been doing uh, my folk art birdhouses still. Uh, I do do some public events. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about those. Uh, today at noon, I'm going to do a Blog Talk Radio show. So if you go to blogtalkradio.com backslash Sandra Bear, one word, uh, today at noon, I'll be talking about in, in depth about the medicine circles. Yeah, so you can learn about exactly what it is that, that I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to give you the dates and places right now. So, uh... I'm going to be going up to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour outside of Pittsburgh. And I'm going to be doing readings on the 4th and 5th of April. So those are pretty booked up. Mainly I'm going to focus on past life readings, but we're going to get into Akashic Record readings. If people want, I'll do traditional healing for them. I'll do face and palm reading and tarot too. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be real busy. Yeah, they're working to get that pretty, pretty highly scheduled because you know it cost me about three hundred dollars just to travel there and back yeah and that's on the cheap right so i'll be uh, doing the readings on friday and saturday at that space also heathers and slippery rock downtown you can also find i have um original art there i've got four paintings for sale there my shamanic folk art one's a native american uh it's called the earth mother singing healing and then I've got Nessie, you know, the Loch Ness, ne Loch Ness Monster. I did my version of her. Yeah, channeled her. And I did uh, two dragon paintings. One is Archangel Michael and the dragon. It's about, it's about righteous fire uh, for, for the sake of protecting innocence, right? It's not, they're not battling. The dragon and Michael are not battling. They're both there with uh, the spirit of righteous fire for the sake of you know retribution for the sake of the innocent uh that's that is a theme that is left out of the equation so many times yeah 
And then I have uh, an, another dragon painting that's just like a little purple fairy dragon, which has a big story uh, behind it, why I painted that. And so those are there, as well as my folk art birdhouses. And then I'll be doing readings and healing there. On the 6th, <laughs> I'm so bad with numbers. On the 6th, I'm going to be doing a Cherokee Medicine Healing Circle at my formal, former residence there in Pittsburgh. Yeah, my ex and I are still amazingly great friends. You know, we do well as friends and lovers, but not as married people. <laughs> Too independent. But uh, when I'm in town, that's where I stay, and it's just fine. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a Medicine Healing Circle Sunday. And you are more than welcome to come to that on the Blog Talk Radio Show. I'll go into depth about what that includes, or you can just trust your gut and come on. The thing about these is we're not allowed to charge a set fee. People can and are encouraged to donate and give a love offering of whatever feels fair to their heart. But I can't set a set fee on this. It's just according to what your heart feels is fair and what you can comfortably do. Yeah. So I'll be doing that on Sunday. And I anticipate the space being quite full because um, I won't be coming back that often. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, those that I have worked with in the past, I will be seeing them there. On the 12th of April, I'll be doing a medicine circle at uh, in my art retreat center in um, Mars Hill. Now, the one of Pittsburgh is going to be indoors because it's more of a city lot, right? You can park out in front of the community garden or street side. That'll be inside, even though we will have a fire ceremony. It'll be, you know, around um, a little a little urn I have, but. In Mars Hill, because I'm way out in the boondocks, and we have a fire a fire pit, we're going to be doing that at 6 o'clock in the evening. We're going to be having a potluck dinner, a traditional Cherokee prayer circle. We're going to have a, a bonfire. The center of the, fi the fire at the center of our circle represents Great Spirit. And I'm going to be teaching people how to do the stomp dance. We're going to do a traditional kind of a dance. Uh, we're going to have, you know, healing um, and singing, dancing, drumming, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Spirit singing. And we're going to open sacred space. We're going to do a pipe ceremony. I do not have a ceremonial pipe yet, but we will be sharing, you know, uh, uh, tobacco and uh, mugwort. I like mugwort. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. And uh, we're going to be passing the talking stick so that people can speak their heart. I'll be teaching people about how to work with that. We're going to do a gratitude circle. Yeah, because one of the ways of getting what you want is by being grateful for what you have already. Yeah? The whiners and complainers usually attract more and more of the same. But if we learn to have gratitude for what we have, uh, we can attract more and more of what it is that we truly want. Right? And really my hope and dream is to help people to be physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally healed and healthy and whole. That they have the love they want in their life. That they are loved. You know, that they are walking their path of power very, very strongly and powerfully. Walking within the power of gentleness. That the rainbow warriors awaken and align themselves to their divine life path. That's that's all part of my mission, right? So that's my intention, yes. So that you can live the life of your dreams and feel like you're doing what you're here to do. So that's, I'm just a mama bear helping shake people awake. And that's what I do. So you are invited to participate in any of these things. You can find me on Facebook, Sandra Bear Davis. Uh, please feel free to friend me. It's going to take a lot for me not to friend somebody. <laughs> and then uh, Sandra Bear Davis, the Appalachian Medicine Woman, is my page on Facebook. Feel free to like that. I also have Enchanted Fairy Birdhouses on Facebook. Feel free to like that. And then Heathers of Slippery Rock. Um, please like her page because um, she's, she's just been wonderful. Just wonderful to me. Just so loving and opening her space and her heart to my work. 
So it's just a wonderful time. I'm so busy. Such a pro I'm a very prolific shamanic folk artist because when spirit grabs me and spirit has me, I can produce just a lot of art. And I love nothing better than like giving myself over as a purified channel for spirit and doing this artwork, these spiritual gateway art pieces that connect ones to the higher dimensions of absolute divine love and light. Yeah, my near-death experience connected me to the archangels. And so though I practice a very traditional Cherokee spirituality, medicine people have spirit councils and they come to us and they work with us. And they're the ones that really just help us with counsel all the time. And so mine are archangels, dove goddesses, many of the ascended masters. Uh, she bear sees is a ancient version of me, right? It's me in a past life, but she's a guide. Figure that one out. And we work with each other in a living timeline. Work, figure that one out. That's a medicine person thing for sure, that understanding of the true nature of time. Yeah. So I work with these wonderful, wonderful spiritual guides in my work, uh, not only in healing and singing and, and holding events, but also my, my artwork. Yeah, and Spirit shared with me, my artwork is the most important work that I will be doing and can do because these pieces will live on far beyond my physical body right my physical shell will age and pass from this mortal scene but the artwork can stay for many 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 hundreds of years and so that spiritual gateway art is my divine life path but yet i still do do some public events so i'm going to get myself together i've got a radio show coming on um just like an hour 45 minutes i get started on that it's just a short one just a half hour but i want to thank you for spending this time with me and sharing this time with me i'm so excited to be at my healing arts retreat center i'm going to be posting more videos i did not have a wi-fi space for a while but when i visit my son i do so I can post more videos and keep you guys a little bit more updated. And some people are wanting to know about um, how to make your own healing balms and that sort of thing. So I'll be sharing some of those.